It's 10 trivia questions on all things about building and construction. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Today's episode all about building and construction trivia, recently done for a uh, company I did a corporate show for that was a construction company. And they wanted to have some custom rounds, so I always like to showcase that is something I can do. If you have a virtual party coming up, we can make some questions or rounds just for your company, your friends, your family, your coworkers, whatever you got going on. This was a crowd per game where we had 10 questions. Some of them are multiple choice, and I think you'll have a good time trying to figure out the answers to some of these. Of course, as always, I insert some pop culture amongst the uh, the construction and things like that to try and keep it fun and interesting for people who are maybe not iron workers, for example. My dad was an iron worker and, uh, you know, worked seven days a week on certain weeks and uh, 60, 70 hour weeks, crazy, crazy physical labor. And I host trivia for a living in my garage, virtually in front of a green screen. So very different lives, uh, father and son there, but uh, different times as well. Uh, We're going to have some fun with these questions. And I did want to mention we have a brand new logo coming out on December 1st. Shout out to artist and extraordinary friend Brian E. Ward. Follow him on Instagram. He's on my friends list at Ryan Buds. Go find Brian E. Ward. He does amazing artwork. And he did our Bob Ross logo. He did our Elvira logo. And he just hit it out of the park with the newest one right in time for the holidays. We'll have some circular stickers that I will be sending out to people. Um, I've ordered quite a bit of them. So uh, I'm sure you'll get one if you want one. But if you need one, let me know. As soon as they come out, the uh, podcast artwork will change on December 1st, and uh, I'll be posting this logo everywhere to get everybody in the holiday spirit here at Trivia with Buds. Uh, Today's episode, 11 questions on building stuff, is going to start right now. Here we go. All right, buildings and construction trivia. Here comes question number one. In what movie does a villain fall off the top of Nakatomi Plaza? Question number one. In what movie does a villain fall off the top of Nakatomi Plaza? Number one, number one. And question number two. Which toy was conceived by Frank Lloyd Wright's son, John? Which toy was conceived by Frank Lloyd Wright's son, John? Question number three. What material are most I-beams made out of? Number three. What material are most I-beams made out of? That's the letter I hyphen beams. Number three. Question number four, in what country would you find the Leaning Tower of Pisa? In what country would you find the Leaning Tower of Pisa? Number four. Question number five, which of these TV dads was an architect? Was it Al Bundy, Mike Brady, Homer Simpson, or Archie Bunker? Which of those TV dads was an architect? Was it Al Bundy, Mike Brady, Homer Simpson, or Archie Bunker? Question number six, tongue and groove is a method to blank pieces of wood. Tongue and groove is a method to blank pieces of wood. And question number seven, in what Pixar movie would you find the prominent building, the Sydney Opera House? In what Pixar movie would you find the prominent building, the Sydney Opera House? And question number eight, who starred in the 2018 film Skyscraper? Who starred in the 2018 film Skyscraper? Question number nine, what material is most drywall made from? Number nine, what material is most drywall made from? And the bonus, or number 10 question, on Bob the Builder, what's the response to the phrase, can we build it? On Bob the Builder, what is the response to, can we build it? 
Those are all your questions, 10 in a row on building and construction in pop culture and in the real world. We'll be right back in just a second with the answers. We are back with building and construction trivia. Let's see how you did. Number one, in what movie does a villain fall off the top of Nakatomi Plaza? That would be the first Die Hard movie. Hans Gruber, played by the late great Alan Rickman, falls off at the end. Greatest villain of all time, if you ask me, in movie history. Love him quite a bit. Number two, which of these toys was conceived by Frank Lloyd Wright's son, John? The answer was Lincoln Logs. Lincoln Logs. Number three, what material are most I-beams made out of? That is structural steel. Structural steel. And number four, in what country would you find the Leaning Tower of Pisa? That is Italy. Italy. My daughter said, you know, Dad, it's not, uh, it wasn't always leaning. She told me that the other day, six years old. Love it. Which of these TV dads was an architect? It was Mike Brady from the Brady Bunch, Mike Brady. And tongue and groove is a method to fit pieces of wood. Tongue and groove fit pieces of wood together. Where is uh, the movie? What is the movie where you'd find the Sydney Opera House? That was Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. There might be a reference to it in Finding Dory as well, but definitely Finding Nemo is the prominent one. Uh, Number eight, who starred in the 2018 film Skyscraper, that was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The Rock. Number nine, what material is most drywall made from? That is gypsum. Gypsum. And on Bob the Builder, what is the response to can we build it? It is yes, we can. Yes, we can. And there you have it. We have gotten through and built a nice foundation of trivia here. Hopefully you learned some stuff like gypsum and drywall. I didn't know that. And uh, hopefully you had fun trying to figure out these questions. If you know somebody that like uh, might like my show, please send them a message or uh, a, a, an email, a text. Say, hey, check out this guy's podcast. This is right up your alley. That is how we get a lot of great word of mouth recommendations for the show. And uh, after a few episodes, people seem to be hooked on it, especially if they're on a road trip or a plane or they're playing with a group. So uh, however you consume the show, let me know. I love getting those emails. And it seems like there's lots of different ways to enjoy some trivia out there, especially in 2020. Uh, We have one more fact for you. It's called the fact of the day. It's called uh, in Utah. It is illegal to swear in front of a dead person. Now, I don't know how they would know or how they would report it, but it is illegal to swear in front of a dead person. So watch your mouth at the funeral parlor if you are in Utah. All right, that is it for today's episode. Thank you so much for listening to the show. Thanks for your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Happy holidays. Cheers. (music) 